Perfect. Okay, so what I want to do here is I don't want to have this four corner joint right here. So what I need to do is kind of shift this whole thing down and so it's staggered a bit. So basically what I'll do is on that end there, I'm going to cut two feet off the end and take that two feet and bring it over here and put it in there and shift everything down so that way I don't have um, a joint like this where there's four corners coming together. And that way, now, I don't have that joint like I had before. They're all kind of offset. All right, that worked out great. Well, I've got all my floor joists up and in for the master loft space. So those are all put up. They were a little difficult to do. Um, it took a lot of figuring out. I had some issues with the concrete floor being raised, a hump here in the wet wall area. So I had to kind of notch a lot of these joists to get them back level because I didn't account for that in the wall height when I put the wall in. So I had to make adjustments there. I mean, just making sure everything is square, getting the right blocking in, just making sure it all is going to work out. It took some time, and but here we are. I got all the joists up and I got all the subfloor OSB put up and just laid up there, make sure it's all cut right and and fitting so it's all there so before i actually screw all that down and glue it down i want to finish out the blocking in between each of these joists some of them are still kind of a loose um, because i want to make sure i can adjust to get that right and then also what i'm going to work on right now is the beam i'm going to put the beam in across here now i'm just going to use two two by tens for this because it's just cantilevered over the hallway wall there there, but I got to cut all of these ends of the joists all the way down this whole length here uh, to fit. I and mean, I want to get two two by tens in there with. So I'm going to have to cut off you know an inch or two off the end of each one of these. But I'm going to measure it and string a line so it's straight and square and get all my cuts in. I want to get that beam to fit right in here. So it's just two two by tens sandwiched in between this post and the joists. So I need to measure three inches. Make sure fit. There we go. It's not the prettiest, but that'll work. Okay, so now that I got the first one cut to size, I'll string a string from here across to the, the last one after I check for square. All right, since I do want to measure square, probably from 
that corner. I'm gonna push this out a bit so at 10 and a half to the inside of that joist. So now I wanna measure between that screw and that screw of there in that corner. Two fifty nine exactly. Well, it looked like it. Let me go get the level to see if that's plumb. Looks like it's a little off, but it might be good enough for now. Okay, so now I need to take the measurement. Maybe I'll cut another one. That's what I'll do. I'll cut another one for out here. And I'll push this out even a little bit further. Okay, so now I'm measuring from that corner to 259. So I'm just going to extend this out to 259. 259 on the outer edge. Okay. So that is square. So now I'm moving some of this subfloor back off the edge of those joists so I can go out and draw the line, snap a line, and cut the ends off without this being in the way. All right, so I'm gonna hook this on there so that should give me an exact spot. Pull it across. Be careful where I step so I don't fall through. See if I can reach back and snap this line. Okay, now I got my measurement straight across. I'll transfer those down with the square. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take that line there and just draw it down, transfer it down using my quick square. I'll come back and do the bottoms from down below. Look at that. Straight shot. That was a pretty good job.
So I'm having to put in these blocking up here. And what I'm doing is I'm working my way down. So across and then all the way down each joist so I can maintain my measurement all the way down about 14 and a half inches in between each um, because these joists are somewhat bowed. So I'm having to work it out by putting these blocks in to get the exact measurement. So when I come to the end here with my subfloor up top, it'll be all lined up right. So I measured that one up there, put that in, it's 14 and a half. And then I get to the very end here. And when I take this measurement, it's 14, so I'm a half inch off. So I need to pop that joist to the left there by another half inch or so. So I have another 14 and a half inch board. I'm gonna wedge in there and push that over to the side and then screw it in the end and then put my joist hangers in. And then everything will line up right. And you can see it's not quite, I gotta push this out. So now I'll put the screws in the end. So I've got three screws in every single end of the joist, but then I'm also putting in these joist hangers on the other side. Just cantilevers over. It's not a big cantilever. It's only about two and a half feet or so. Okay, so now that I got everything figured out here, I lifted up the piece of subfloor. I've, I've got this in along the edge here, all glued down and screwed down. It's solid. So now I'm on to the next piece. I'm gonna work my way this way and then that way out to the outer edge. And that piece there, I lifted up because I'm going to now put the glue down, liquid nails down. Um, I'm gluing and screwing this down because this is our living area and I wanna make sure it is done right and you know, helps with uh, any squeaking that might happen. I'm using all screws, no nails, and using glue to help hold it down. Give me some more of that liquid nail stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna need a couple of them. Oh, throw them? Yeah, throw them. <laughs> Give me two more. Yep. Thank you. At first, actually, I'm going to draw lines where these joists are so I know where I put my screws in. So. Okay, so now to glue. Okay, now it's all glued down, or all the glue is down. I'm gonna bring this over. All right. 
All right, so now you can see my lines that I drew where I'm gonna put some screws in. I got the sub floor all screwed down, screwed and glued, whole thing. Now what I gotta do is trim the edges off down that line there. So you can see there's a lip under there where I've got that sub floor overhanging the edge. So I wanna cut that off. And I got some cleanup work on the end here. Look at that, perfect. All right, to measure this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. 